your next question is, okay, what else can lists do? Oh my goodness. If you've used underscore or any other functional library with lists, they have it all. They have all the maps, the reduces, the reverses, the where's, the sorts. It's all there. No need library. You can just say test, let's say, let's take out the extendability. Let's just make a normal array, okay? And we'll say test add Jesse, test add Chodan. Okay, print this guy out. And you can see Jesse Warden. First item is Jesse, last name is there. The normal for each, remember for each. It'll take a function inside of it. And let's just make a temporary function for now. We'll say the item. Notice we're doing a function within a function. And since Dart doesn't require the function keyword, you just to put two parentheses. And for use of the module pattern in JavaScript, which also supports this, you can do this as well as an anonymous function, anonymous function expression, whatever. So same in Dart, okay? And just as, in my opinion, unreadable, but you know, the functional kids love this, so whatever. Print the item. And again, you don't concatenate things with print. You actually use this dollar sign, so all the C, C lovers will be happy. For all the JavaScript developers, like, really? I'm with you, dude. I don't like it either, but whatever. You know, you're used to some, you get used to it. So when you hit print, you can see it'll actually iterate through and print those out. So it has all the wonderful functional methods that you can chain each, most of them. I think there's issues with where and where else for style. Sometimes they return an iterable where it's an array you can iterate on. Other times they don't. In addition, there are so many wonderful interfaces that list supports. So for example, if you go to Dartlang, you go to API docs or api.dartlang.org, type in list. Right up here of the subclasses is cool, but implements efficiently like an iterable, okay? So iterable specifically allows us to do all kinds of known ways of dealing with lists. So anybody who accepts a, an iterable type can iterate through it. It doesn't have to be a list but it makes it very interchangeable with anything that's expected to do a for each or a where to you know iterate over something, right? Loop over it. So they're all there for you. It's really empty. It has a very common good API. So list supports all that out of the box.